Okay, so I'm launching a new series called Retouch With Me. I'm going to be showing you guys all my techniques, the way I retouch, the way I color grade, skin walk, everything you want to know, dodge and burn. I'm going to be doing it in a series called Retouch With Me. So it's going to be like every week I'm going to be posting one video showing all my techniques when it comes to retouching. It's your favorite educator, Idon Asilusa, aka The Dean, London based fashion and portrait photographer. Some time ago, I went to Wari in Delta State, Nigeria. I had a workshop there sponsored by my very good friend Solomon of Afei Studios. Um, you can see like the behind the scene what it looks like. We had a couple of students there and I used a Godox, I can remember, I think it was a Godox 8600 and we had an 85 centimeter modifier attached to it and it was just one light. So we're using the backlight was natural light and you can see it was a very sunny day and um, we used the key light which was the Godox 8600 expose first of all for the background and then add up your key light okay so we're going to be retouching this image and partially probably color grading it because i'm going to do another video that has to do typically with just color grading the way you can tweak your colors the way you could um, color balance and also the way you could color grade because they are just two different things okay let's go straight to the point before I start, let me take you through the hardware, software, and plugins that I use, okay? So, um, in terms of hardware, I use the Intuos Wacom Pro, the smaller version. Are, there's the medium, there's the large, but I use the small one. And of course, the um, MacBook Pro. And in terms of software, I use Capture One Pro and Photoshop. Plugins, I use Infinite Color and Retouching Academy. Okay, so the first thing I do is to um, get to exposure warning, which is this little triangle that you can see right here. Okay, so when I do outdoor shoots, basically, especially on a very bright sunny day like this, I like to check, you know, my exposure and see where it is overexposed and then I cut it down. So this is my exposure warning. Once you click that and capture one, it shows you this red patches which signifies the area of the, the image that is overexposed. These are highlight areas which are already blown away. The highlights are blown away so I go to my highlights and I cut it down gradually till that disappears. I mean this this part doesn't really matter to me because I'm going to take it out you know in the process so I will just leave that there or if you want to you can just take it all the way down so I take that and I'm very sure that I have details in my image so it depends on what I want to achieve in the image for this image I want it to be a very strong and very grungy kind of image first thing I would do is to open up my shadows slightly a little bit and to compensate for the shadow that I've opened up I'm going to add a bit of contrast if you look at the image towards this part you can see that there's a little bit of flare you know so you could leave the flare if you want to but for me and you can see so if you pull the dehaze you can see what what happens so I just pull it that way and you can see how contrasted it looks like the next thing I would want to do is to play around with the colors right and um, this is not color grading I'm not doing anything about color grading so first to get my colors right I have to color balance so I'm just gonna go straight up here and work on my white balance uh, some people do auto uh, I mean if you do auto this is you know just a slight change but I would do daylight I will go to the specific colors now look at the cloud and try to decipher what colors are, are the cloud it looks like blue but I'm I, it also has like a tealish thing to it so I'm just gonna try any of the colors if I take saturation of my blues down I see that it doesn't really affect the image right just very slightly if I go to my teal that's the cyan looking one and I take it down you can see how it affects the image so right that's the color 
so what i would do is to increase my saturation a little bit and then drop my lightness a little bit you can see right there you know how that looks like already and the next color i'm going to work on is the greens so i go to the greens and pop my saturation and then drop my lightness for me i like to work with individual colors i do not just go to saturation and saturate the whole image that's my own style i like to work on individual colors and um, and tell the viewer what i want the viewer to see green is composed of blue and yellow so there's a yellow color element in the greens if you understand you know color theory i'm just gonna pop my yellows a little bit and then drop my lightness so right there you can see before and after before and after that looks great already basically i'm not going to do too much you know with this and capture one is just what i i use to work on the raw files and once i'm done working on the raw files you know i can just export it and take it to photoshop and then that's when i finish what i'm supposed to do so basically i think this is this is it for me there wouldn't be anything else that i would want to do so let me just take it to photoshop and then show you exactly how i'm going to finish the image i'm going to right click the image here and then i'm going to say edit with photoshop first thing i would want to do i would love to take out you no know, elements that i do not want in the frame let's start by going to the polygonal lasso tool and you can find that right here select you know that part of the image which you do not want and then i'm just going to press delete content aware and that click ok and that's just going to fill it automatically for you there you go the next thing i would want to do is to i'm looking at the line it doesn't look very straight to me looking at the image i can tell that the line right here isn't straight I like to compose my images right while shooting and also in post so i'm just going to press the crop tool and click there you can see you know you can use these lines now to determine how straight the lines are in the image i'm just going to do this rotate it just a little bit and there you go we have the line if you can see it is all the way straight i'm going to enlarge all this that way looking at the image it looks great it looks nice already but i just want to add a bit of color to it but before i add the colors i would open it up in raw and then at this point i'm just going to play around so this is me just opening up my shadows bump it up all the way i look at it and i say do i want the image to look this way or do i want it to look that way so for me i like to open up my shadows and i'm going to go to details and add a bit of more details by adding sharpening to it i click ok and that pops up all the way you can see that i'm just working with my background layer i'm not doing much with this and next thing i would want to do is to add colors to it now i'm going to go to my adjustment layer click on black and white i'm just going to drop it all the way to zero and introduce it gradually and that desaturates it a little bit uh, let's try 35 percent somewhere around there let's say somewhere around there this just makes me kill that saturation a little bit because i want to introduce the kind of color that i want for this image so next thing i'm going to go to my lookup tables i have a couple of them which i bought and also a couple of them which i created myself i'm going to choose out of one of them that i bought it's uh, a teal and orange one very popular it's 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 the sedona and let's see where how it let's see how it would look like when we put it in there there you go so for this one again i'm just going to pull it all the way to zero and then start to introduce it gradually into my image right introduce it that way let's say we stop somewhere around there and then i'm going to go to my infinite color and start to create now look at how that sits on the image you have a lot of options a whole lot of options to choose from nice this looks good great 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 remember you can also reduce the intensity of the colors you can also tweak because it opens up in a folder so you can tweak it the way you want to right there you go 
okay so let's leave it at this one so i'm going to take it all the way to zero and then introduce it a little bit again i'm trying 35 percent okay good looking at the image i think i'm liking what it looks like let me just group this so you can see what the colors look like this is what it was before and this is what it is right now so the next thing i would want to do right now is to put a photo filter over it so the reason why i'm putting a photo filter over it is just to blend everything together right so i'm just going to put a photo filter over it um one of my favorite is underwater you can also do deep emerald whatever you would want this deep blue right that, that, no this one looks this one looks very nice anyway whatever you want i'm just gonna go with um underwater it's my favorite actually so i'm always tilting towards it so you can see from this we just stylized it in terms of color and we got to this i'm just going to quickly duplicate this image and I'm, i want to stretch what you can see in terms of the greenery you know the background and all that so i'm going to do this filter camera raw and whatever i'm doing here is basically just for the background so you can see that part you know where we have this this floor right here so i'm going to increase my clarity open up my shadows add a bit of texture and i'm going to say now this is not for the whole image i just want to do it in a selected part of the image so press alt down and click your layer mask tool there you go it takes you back to your original image b is for brush okay click your brush tool and then you can start brushing what you did with the raw into that image you see how detailed the floor looks like now let me just zoom in for you to see what it looks like okay you now see what it looks like i'm bringing that details let me show you what it looks like before can you see before and after so i'm bringing in all that here all right so nice right i'm just going to merge that one together and quickly i'm just going to show you what the before and after is like so this is a nice image but then if you would want to stylize it you could do this i feel like it's slightly not as bright as i would want it to be i'll just pop up the exposure a little bit there you go right so that's my image from capture one all the way to photoshop in some other tutorial i'm going to show you guys how i work on the skin take out the blemishes frequency suppression whatever it is if there's anything you would want me to show you just put the comments down there and then let's let's take it up from there but for this I just wanted to let you know how I can transition my images from Capture One and take it all the way to Photoshop. I hope you really enjoyed that whole session of color grading. Um, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you have anything to add, you know, we are all learning. It's a, it's a learning curve. So you can just drop your thoughts in the comment section.